Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the regular board meeting of Bush County Board of Education. This is our whole uh, regular meeting. This time, I call these to order, and this time we'll stand the Pledge of Allegiance.
Each student received a passport that was carried to each station where they participated in an art-inspired activity to receive a stamp on their passport. Station includes self-portrait painting, slime making, passport, creativity, adverse monster screen, marble painting, face painting, papyri, river typing, and others. Students' artwork fill the halls on the display and attendees was able to participate in the scavenger hunt to find the answer to questions that came from the students' artwork. Cookies and lemonade were served and it was fantastically successful. Well attended and a great time of fellowship for our community as well as our opportunity to extend learning for our students. In addition to planning an amazing art show this spring, she has also planned and designed seats for our play in the first part of the fair of, uh, of our school. Miss Miller is always willing to help create and design needs for schools as well. In conclusion, Miss Miller is always going the extra mile for our students.
have a bid opening on July 21st uh, down at the, the parish office in Perry. Uh, Mr. Rustin and myself went down there to <coughs> We had representation from uh, Rowan Associates. Uh, Kate was down there. Um, and then the, the parish uh, crew was there, as well as several of the uh, subcontractors. Uh, had a, a, a pretty, to be honest with you, a pretty full bid day. Uh, of the of all the bid packets that were there, um, I don't think any of any of them was just a single bidder. It was all multiple, um, some as high as four or five. Uh, but uh, with our with our subcontractors and all of our allowances and contingencies, uh, the the total GMP for the Performing Arts Center that is guaranteed maximum price is, is, is fourteen million four hundred forty three thousand five hundred twelve dollars. Um, the, the package you've got shows the breakdown of all of that. Um, you've got the, the, the first page tells you all of the uh, all of the subs and, and the bids. Uh, then you've got a page that shows our, our allowances that we're going to carry. And of course, that helps you stay. You, you know, if we don't spend the, the allowance, we get that money. You know, that just what we carry to cover these costs. And if, if something changes and it's less than that, that money goes back into the project. It does not go to anybody. Um, and then you've got some alternates that have, some have been approved, some are still being checked on by uh, the architect. Um, I'll entertain any questions uh, you have about the, the guaranteed matching price. And remember, we did have a little discussion at our about retreat that the price of, of items had gone up. Um, we're still slightly over what we were budgeted at that, at that time. Everything's still on schedule as far as when you would think we'll start breaking ground. Or? Yeah, well, well, still going to be a problem in October groundbreaking. Um, the, the reason that we wanted to go ahead and get this on this uh, uh, board agenda is because we're having extremely long lead times on electrical components. And so once we are, if, once we approve our grant guaranteed maximum price, parish will immediately sign contracts with these electric with, with the subs, but mainly the electrical to get the components ordered. Um, because it, I mean you can look at this, but you got about a two million dollar electrical package in it. So this is theater. I mean, you got lighting, you got all the sound, and they'll do the base work behind it. And so there's a lot of electrical <coughs> going on there. Um, and, and we don't want to be, like right now, we're waiting on, on the last electrical component of Red Devil Hill. It's supposed to be here in a month. So we want to go ahead and get those things going. Did you uh, anticipate the money explained? In case there's anybody not familiar with forming our center to be located, Yes, sir. It, it's um, if you go right down the, the, the front bus drop of the Rufus Auditorium towards the Franklin Street Gym, it, it's not going to be up even with the front of the Franklin Street Gym. It'll be even with the um, with the Rufus Auditorium. They're going to tear down uh, some of that bus uh, canopy that's on the front side of Rufus. We will add about a hundred parking spaces between the existing parking lot and the front of the, the performing arts center. And then it, there will be the road that we're using currently as a uh, as the, the, the landing spot for um, for Red Devil Hill. That, that road will become a one-way road where you can you will go and pull on, and it'll be on the other side from where we're talking about of the performing arts building and come out down at Fairway Road, I mean at uh, Fair, Fairground Road, uh, and then there'll be a loading dock on that where the trucks. So let's say that uh, you know the, the the plan for this is that of course that our school gets to use it and we take priority, but we have other performances to come to town. And so let, let's say we've got a, a group coming to perform, and, and they, they're in a semi truck. They'll be able to pull the semi by the loading dock, back, it, it, it's very conducive to unloading and loading um, right there, and then the truck pulls out that way, and 
that, that, those, that road stays locked. All your parking will be in the front, uh, but that does add up about 100 parking spaces. Uh, it does, it does, it, it'll make new parking all the way from this field to, to Red Devil Field. Um, and it'll be a, a really pretty, uh, pretty uh, front of the building and, and we're gonna do some things to dress that up. Uh, I, while I'm talking about it, because I, I really love talking about stuff like this, um, the, it's a thousand seat uh, theater. The, the theater part of it's gonna be a thousand, the auditorium part is gonna be a thousand seat. And very few of them, I mean, it, it, it'll, it, it comes up and I mean, it, it's kind of a steep slope and then it, it tapers down towards the stage. <coughs> Um, in the, when you walk into the, to the lobby, you're going to have places to uh, display student artwork all throughout it, so it's no wasted space. If you, if, I'm not going to call it, if you've been to any of the surrounding canyons, there's some wasted spaces in the lobby. We try not to do that, and it will kind of have that, um, that, that semicircle look. But in this, you're going to have two rooms <coughs> that can be used, and we have band concerts, so one like one band can be warming up, the other band goes on stage and bring another band into the, so that room is divided in, it's two big rooms, but can be one really big room. Um, and then on the opposite side of those rooms, you're gonna have a stage uh, shop. So the, the performing arts at the high school, when they have to build a stage, they don't have to build it at the high school transport it over here. It's a it's a complete shop right beside the, the wings of the stage so they built the property. It, it's a state of the art. It, it, it's a state of the art uh, facility to be used by our performing arts, but it also brings people in. Um, and, and Monroe County is a prime example of that because that's one thing that they have seen is that they've been able to bring people in. Uh, but it, 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 it's it starts off for our kids. I mean, that, that's a group of kids that deserve some, some, some really fine facilities. And then when this is all said and done, if you can take a camera or a drone and fly over this, just this block right here, uh, you won't find better in the state of Georgia. I mean, you've got a, 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 you'll have, at the end of August, you're gonna have a, a stadium that's just unbelievable with a, this end zone building that you can have your banquets in and, and, and down the road, a Hall of Fame room, and then you'll have your performing arts here, and then we're gonna eventually dress this building up, but I mean, we got to, we're, gonna, we're gonna take care of our kids before we take care of ourselves. And then we'll have a, um, it'll, it'll just be a, a, a beautiful place. I've seen you talking about this. I think it would be of interest is how the community was involved, you know, giving feedback on what is needed in the particular area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that, that, that was involved locally to help in the planning of the need, what we needed in having to build the building. Well, that, that's one thing that I, I, I'll say, I'll, I'll brag on Parrish Construction and Doug Brough and Associates because they did a good job. Now, I wasn't here, I, I, I was still doing a, a, a previous job. But they, what they did was they brought, they had meetings with the, the staff and they brought in the, the art department, the, the band, the theater, and, and, and they took input from, from every aspect of the performing arts uh, in, 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 at the school. Uh, and I, I don't think it was just the high schools. This is a Butts County Performing Arts Center. I think they got input from, from all the schools. Yeah, I think the art camps yeah. were involved in, and other groups too uh, were, were brought into the meeting to get right. feedback on what they felt we needed to, to, to meet the needs of our community. Right. Places for any place to talk about it. Well, it, it, it is, it, it, it is, a, it's, a, it's going to have pretty right. buildings, but it, it's, it's going to be a very functional design is what uh, we're loving about it. And, and, and it's going to have <coughs> the, the, the sound system is going to be leaps and bounds from what we got. But it's also going to be where we can add on to it. So, so down the road, if we see any need, it's going to it's going to have that capability. But then the theater uh, part of it for like the backdrops for concerts and the backdrops for for plays, uh, 
we might have a night of going and turn the door when it's all said and done. So uh, that's one thing that we're going to get a Cadillac for, not a Chevrolet. Well, if there's any questions, the superintendent on the uh, DFP. So at this time, do I get a motion that uh, reads out the uh, <coughs> DFP for the new auditorium?
Um, but that, that completes the consent agenda item. Board members, uh, are there any questions to superintendent on 7.1 through 7.4 on your consent agenda? Any additional questions? There's no additional questions or any motion. Did we adopt the consent agenda from 7.1 to 7.4? Second. All in favor? Motion carried. We will now move on to financial report 8.1. Uh, now, our, our financial report has been there for your viewing pleasure since uh, last week. Uh, you, you, you can see how uh, it, it's, it's a very normal uh, July. Uh, we, we buy stuff we have to buy. We haven't picked up the salary from the, the last school year for the district 12 month people. Uh, so, it, it, this should be very common. Uh, you're used to seeing this every year. Uh, then you get to the splash collection. Uh, once again, we're, we're having good splash uh, collections. Our, our June collections this year, excuse me, our July collections this year, uh, 620,000 again, up a little bit from last month, and then up about 100,000, uh, about 107,000 <coughs> last year. So uh, you, the, the, these are helping us, you know, the cost of this, of, of that performing arts center was higher than the original thought. Well, the good thing is we're offsetting a lot of that with, with, with these um, block programs. Um, and then our, course, our, our habit is um, not a lot of people bought new cars other than in the month of June. Um, so their vacation maybe it'll pick up close to Christmas. Well, there's a question on the financial report. Uh, not any question, do I have a motion we adopt the financial report? Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. All in favor? Motion carried. We will now get into informational items 9.1 and 9.4. All right, there's an operations report. Um, just, just to hit some highlights, I'm not going to get everything. Um, we are at Red Devil Hill, uh, still I sat in the truck yesterday during the rainstorm uh, with the superintendent down there. They're still expecting everything to come in. They've got about a three day window that they're gonna put toilet uh, all your toilet fixtures in and partitions. They're paint they were supposed to, supposed to paint the bathroom ceiling today. I don't know if they got that done. I didn't get down there today. Uh, they, like I told you earlier, there's a, there's a one uh, gear, one electrical gear that we're waiting on. Um, it's supposed to ship the last week of this month. Uh, if for some reason it does not, <coughs> we, we can put enough temporary power to have that, that the, the, the first ball game, but we don't want to do that. We don't want to say that it's going to be here and just keep rolling. Um, we've got uh, the Henderson Middle School Couple, we got it, we, we get it right except for a couple of units. We're about to, that project is about complete. Everything we're planning on getting done this summer. Of course, we still got a little bit to do next summer and we'll start looking at Dalton as well. Uh, we are, folks, safety is a priority. Uh, we, we are meeting with our, uh, our, our team uh, throughout the month, uh, making sure our Centegics is working, making sure all of our fire and, and life safety stuff is working um, and, and then we're talking through all the different scenarios that are on people's minds right now um, so, so that way we don't get caught in, in, a, in a situation. Um, we also have a monthly curriculum instruction and assessment report. Uh, we, we, we got through our new teacher orientation for the, the, the initial kickoff and now we'll have our, our monthly meetings with that. Uh, to, to, to kind of get our, our new teachers acclimated to the, to the Buck County way. Uh, we, we have, this is kind of our, our kickoff month. Uh, we got a lot of your beginning of the year meetings that we're trying to get done. I, I think this, this week, which really doesn't fall directly under this, but we got our CPR training for all of our coaches. They've got to this week to get it done. We've got all, all the things that have to get done 
Uh, we're getting done uh, this month. Uh, we've got several meetings uh, with uh, with the different schools, and we got our first principal meeting of the year um, coming up next week. Uh, back to school progress update. There, there was no attachment to this, and, and that was because I just kind of wanted to, to tell y'all. Um, I felt like we had a very good back to school uh, first three days, four days now, or five days now. Um, but I'm going to say that the staff at the school and, and the, the, the staff at the central office uh, had such a good plan going into this thing. Um, your first day, your plan is you get your kids to school, you get them fed, you get them home. That's all, you, that's all you want to do on day one. Um, and, and, and we did that with about as much efficiency as I've ever seen. We did it knowing we were short staffed at our, at our, um, in our school nutrition. And, and Lamar and them working magic with, with getting our kids home. Uh, if, if I'm not mistaken, the all clear came that day at about 5 o'clock. Uh, folks, it didn't happen that way in a lot of schools. Uh, I think our staff, our principals did a great job at Open House getting our uh, principals and their staff did a great job at Open House <coughs> getting correct addresses and getting kids where they needed to be. And then um, it, it, just, it just went real well. Uh, the, 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 it's just a, a real positive act, a real positive thing is, is the best way I can explain that. And, uh, and I hope that, that if you talk to people that y'all hear the same thing. I, I was really, really pleased on the start back to school. Uh, I didn't, didn't hear very many criers on day one. And, and, and that, that, I think that's a tribute to, to Miss Gordon and her uh, kinder camps and her free kinder camps. And, uh, it's just, we, we, we do such, such good things here to, to get our kids and show them we love them. We want them in our school and we're going to take care of them. So I, I just want to say that it was a great start. I want to echo that too. I didn't get to go to the elementary schools, but having one at the middle and one at the high, I don't think I've ever had open house that was as positive and as energetic as it was. Even with all the mass confusion and the parking was was awful because you know we've got middle school and high school, but the energy and, and it was so smooth. We were in and we were out, and everybody, you know, nobody was wondering. team really worked together um, and made sure that it was as smooth. I mean, you're going to have hiccups. I mean, you're going to have hiccups forever, but the, the, the thing that we do is we work through the hiccups great. And, um, and, and I, that, that's, that's commendable for, for, the, for the staff and a lot of them that you see here, but the way that it, it trickles down through the school level staff. Um, the last thing that we've got here is the enrollment status report, and, and I do have uh, they, I do have the two more days, but it's not on this report that you've got just because of, uh, I don't like to put stuff on your agenda after Friday before the board meeting. So we've got Monday and Tuesday of this week. And just to, to let you know, we're about 100, I know that it doesn't quite show it on this report, but we're about 163 kids above where we were this time last year. So we've got uh, 100, 100, 163. Um, and and they'll trickle in for about next, up to, to day 10. And we'll do a little purge on day 10 and make sure that we got our numbers pretty close and it'll start coming. Um, Without trying to do math, are they kind of spread throughout the schools? Is there, you know, is it predominantly, predominantly elementary or? It, it's, it's predominant, it's spread out throughout the school, yeah, just, okay. just to say it. But, but your elementary is probably up 100. And then the rest is spread amongst the other, the other schools. So, and and our, this initial one that you had, I think there was some dual enrollment kids not captured on it. So it's not like we went from, from where it is here and jumped up 20 more kids. I think we had some that were missing that weren't on this because they were dual enrolled. But, uh, but but anyway, uh, Mr. Chairman, that, that completes my my report. One thing that uh, I had the opportunity to sit down and shoot with 
Thank you.